You want to meet a guy while you have the guy you slept with in your house. What kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up? Madness. Madness and stupidity. Welcome back to your therapy session, guys. Today, we are going into Kendra G Live, and we're going to explore the delusions of the modern female. Won't you go ahead and click that like, comment, and subscribe for me? Let's get it in. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hi, what's your name? Shania. Shania, where are you calling us from? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. How old are you? I am 30. 30 years old. Do you have any children? I have two, and I also have custody of my niece. First red flag, guys, is presentation. Okay, okay so three kids live with you? <laughs> yep. Okay, how old are your kids? Um, 13, three, and then my niece is nine. Your children, do they have the same dad? No. Was you ever married? No. Nope. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? My youngest daughter is a one-night stand baby. God damn, there's a lot of stupid bastards walking around. We just didn't take it anywhere after after the one-night stand. Um, yeah, like... Y'all don't wear condoms in one-night stand? Okay, so I was in a relationship with a guy for seven years. We broke up, and I let loose. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. So, yeah, I definitely should have use protection but it was my birthday it was his birthday we was drunk yeah we made a baby yeah we made a baby we made a baby we made a baby the nonchalance with which she said we made a baby is just amazing and this is one of the things that leads to a lot of the challenges we're having in 2024 it's just not that important let's go okay well i believe in abortion so she here okay so y'all co-parent well yes Okay, yeah, you gotta, go ahead sometimes. Tonight, you gotta get situated with us. So you moving a lot, you looking around. So you gotta find places with... in me. I'm a I'm a pacer. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta find what you're ready to do. Okay, okay. here we go. Let me have All a right. second because I'll keep moving around. <laughs> okay. So this is Shania in Columbus, Ohio. 30. What do you do for a living? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver. Um, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, an honest man. And yeah, somebody who knows what they want out of life. Like somebody with a plan, a man with a plan, and an honest man. Everything else can be worked with. What are some deal breakers for you? Um, baby mama drama, dishonesty, bad breath, terrible communication skills. Do you have baby daddy drama? Why are no, you getting drama? I do not. I don't. I don't have baby daddy where, drama. Where are you going now, Shania? I, I'm mixing. I'm I'm flipping my chicken. It's just right here. I'm sorry. Oh, are you cooking? <laughs> yeah. Well, we know she can cook, child. And I can. Um, in the meantime, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, I'm big on teeth and hygiene, so can't have jacked up teeth, can't stink. Could he have kids already? If he has kids, I would like for him to have full custody or the mother not be in the picture. Is, is your children's dad in, in their children's life? They're both in their life. Uh, my youngest child's father is in her life more, and my oldest child's father is in her life less. So why would you want a man that can't have the setup that you have set up? Because uh, my, my baby daddies don't give me no problem. One of them I barely know, so we don't have those kind of problems. The other one, we've been doing this for almost 14 years. So those problems are gone. Do they all, do they each have um, access to you if whenever they need, because y'all co-parent a child, like he can reach out to if the child's sick or if he wants a child, right? Yeah. Like what? I would, yes. I'm not one of those. Mm -mm. So, I mean, we had a guy, a dope guy on the show and he explained sometimes, well, he has no kids. Why he want to date a woman with no kids. And he was like, you know, he'll never be number one when you date a woman with kids. And then there's other men that can always um, access this woman because they share a child together. So what might not be drama to you, a guy still has to be able to conform in that manner. And that's true. And that's fine. If you don't want to deal with what I have going on, please don't waste my time because I'm very transparent about what I want what I, you know, expect from my partner. So if you can't do that, please just go on. Okay. So, so you're, so you'd rather have a guy with no kids, basically. No, I'm down to have a guy with either no kids. I would actually prefer them to have kids so they know how to, you know, deal with them. But your baby mama drama, there can be no baby mama drama, like none. The first sign of it, I'm out. And what's baby mama drama to you? Just ratchetness. Just ratchetness. Speaking of ratchetness, Remember earlier I spoke about presentation. So what kind of presentation does she have there? I consider that ratchet presentation for the internet. But let's go. You know how some baby mothers can be, like just calling 90 million times, 
um, always got their hand out, don't have nothing going on for themselves, still want to be with the child's father. It's, you know, we know, we know what baby daddy and baby mama drama is. I don't have a problem with the, a good co-parenting relationship. I encourage it, you know, if I'm with someone who in the past, when I've been with people uh, with baby daddy, baby mama drama, I've encouraged them to get better with that with that situation but it's draining i'm i don't want to do it no more i'm about to say i'm I'm, it seems like you've been through something with that situation so uh the last guy i was with i know one of your questions was when it was your last relationship it was a year ago but he uh he was a pretty good guy but he wasn't stand-up father um let's go to appearances did the guy have to look a certain way no like i said i don't as long as you you keep your teeth clean and your mouth clean and you smell good i'm cool with that what about if he got to make a certain amount of money? No, I mean, you better may have enough money to take care of yourself because unless, you know, we real deep into it, I'm not taking care of you. Okay, you've been doing it kind of all night because you've been standing up, but let's officially do the Kendra cam. Okay. All right. Okay. Shania, so your last relationship, you already told us about that. Why do you think, when was the last time you was intimate with a guy? You don't have to answer. Um, Today. <laughs> <laughs> you serious who'd you have sex with today uh somebody that i'm dating so you're dating somebody i'm dating so are you looking for more people to date no i'm looking for mr right so you're dating you're dating a person right now i'm dating people right now i'm dating people right now so you had sex with a guy today that you're dating so why can't this guy what's wrong with him nothing he haven't asked me then why are you sleeping with him because I was, you know, I have needs. Do you want a boyfriend? I mean, do you want a do you want a solid relationship? I do want a solid relationship. Yep. Listen, it's your life. You you, you got to live it. After this exchange, you'll probably never talk again. Okay. If you desire to have a relationship, maybe not have sex until you're in a relationship. And mm-hmm. then this way you can know if this could mature into a relationship. If not, you'll just have a whole bunch of energy of men that you're potentially sleeping with. And it's not going to grow into anything. You say you want something outside of what you currently have. So maybe you got to try something different to potentially get that. Maybe. I will take your advice. And I will also say that I'm not sleeping with multiple people. <laughs> well, you're the one that presented it. So you say you're dating. I just told you the truth. You asked me when. I told you when. I told you, you are. When. I mean, well, you told us. You didn't have to. Wait. wait who was that in the background? We saw a guy. Who's that in the background? Who's that in the background? Speak. You could talk. You've been talking to me the whole time. I have. I, I told you who I was. <laughs> That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So you, so the guy you had sex with today is in your house, and you're on my show looking for a new guy. I'm on my, I'm on your show to tell you that I'm single, and if I find you're on my show to look for a new guy, because that's what this show is about. I'm on the show just to put myself out there. Yes. Yeah, you're on this, you're on the show to meet a new guy. That's what this show is about. Let's be clear. We're not going to circle around the fact of the show. Right. You come on the show to meet whomever. If you're into women, you're into men. You want to meet a guy while you have the guy you slept with in your house. What kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up? <laughs> uh, I'm just being honest. I mean, I mean, I'm being honest too. What kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up? I don't know. You tell me, Kendra. Not one. A man will hit you up that want to have sex with you, but not a man that's going to take you serious. There is no man that's watching this right now, a quality man. That's going to hit you up and take you serious with the guy you slept with this morning in the background while you on this show. And if that's what you desire, then that's what you desire. It's your life. But you're going to have to own up to the fact that you got a lot of stuff to get together. Very trifling. And if you want to, and if you want to, if you want to attract a trifling guy, then so be it. Give him your Instagram page or your <laughs> Facebook page. So I just, so I do want to know what makes me trifling for. You're on this, okay. This guy is not my boyfriend, and he knows that. Yeah, you had sex with him today. You think that makes it sound even better? I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't make it sound any better. But he is the only one that I'm sleeping with, and I was. And that's fine. What I'm I telling you a- is, any any guy worth anything that has his stuff together. Is not going to take you serious. But you're going to get a lot of men that's going to reach out to you because they're going to want to have sex with you. They see how you get down. So you How do I get down, Kendra? You don't know the history with me and this man? I know, enough I, to, my- I, I, I know enough to know the guy you slept with today is in the background. So any quality man 
that is concerned about the woman that's on his arms that's going to take him around his family his friends his co-workers is not going to wipe you up in a situation like this <laughs> now men will hit you up but they're not going to take you serious so if you want that man give him your instagram page it's your life <laughs> but no man that no no man that has to represent something in life and because i think sometimes what we don't understand is quality men and quality women they think about how you represent them right and they bring you to certain environments okay. but men are going to reach out to you because they see how you get down so if you want men to reach out to you get to them nope i don't want them to reach out to me at, at how you putting it but thank can you. you understand that though okay well say goodbye look y'all can say i went hard i don't i don't even give a damn i don't even give a damn you go at at some point in time some point in time I say I haven't said it in a long time, but law of attraction is real. You get what you are. Period. So I stand by everything I said to her. Men will reach out to her. No man that's going to take her serious. And that's just that.